Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Fouts here, aka Mikhail Casanova, here with another Cast Reacts. I've already done a reaction to this Street Fighter 6 Year 2 character reveal, but, you know, because I was streaming Summer Games Fest, that shitty show. There's a very few things about that show that actually got me hyped. This was one of them. We're going to watch this trailer again, and I'm going to give you guys some commentary on why this is fucking astronomical, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit YouTube wants you to do. Let's go ahead and get into it because this is hype. This is hype. Man. And they're playing Kira Kiddington. Terry! Bogard! My Shuri Nui. It's about time, because she should have been in Street Fighter V. But we got Eleanor back. And bison. All right, so I'm gonna leave it right here. Okay, this is a very short. We 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 got stuff that's gonna be coming later on, right? So Terry's gonna be dropping probably, let's say August, September, uh, next year, right? Or of this year. Bison's gonna be probably in a month. So we got to talk about the level of astronomical that this is, right? A lot of people like to write off Fatal Fury in any SNK game as a Street Fighter knockoff, not knowing that the guy who created Street Fighter created Fatal Fury Art of Fighting and majority of the SNK characters. Why do you think Ryo Sakazaki is so much like Ryu in visual aesthetics and fighting style? but such a different character personality and story-wise made by the same guy. So we have been wanting, we as in the FGC people who love fighting games, we have been wanting Capcom versus SNK three for like 24 years now, 24, 23 years now. And the fact that two of the special guest characters in this game are Terry Bogard and my Shiranui, that tells you that the relationship with Capcom and SNK is on such a good level. Now, M. Bison, here's the thing. I kind of knew he was going to be coming back. I mean, one, they kind of teased it with how the additional character DLC characters in Street Fighter V, uh, their story modes went. And also Street Fighter Six has been teasing Bison throughout, I mean, JP and all, of course, JP and Bison are gonna have to fight. Both users of Cycle Power, right? But we knew that there was a good working relationship between Capcom and SNK, when SNK's Capcom Fighting All Stars did a collaboration crossover with Street Fighter. They did it with Street Fighter 6. And that was already like, yo, that had me like, yo, we getting Capcom versus SNK 3? Because there was a lot of hype behind that. People forgot about it. And here we are now with two guest characters. Now, the time frame of this, the time frame of this, okay, so we're seeing summer 2024, autumn 2024, spring 2025, winter 2025. That's a bit of a stretch for four characters. I'm hoping we can get more than just the four. Um, just because I think is great having Terry. Why do we not have any fatal uh, final fight characters, right? Where's Cody? The the fight that we have been wanting to see is Cody versus Terry. 
This can legitimately finally happen. I am so tired of Terry being paired up with Ken. Ken is not the rival for Terry. Cody is. Southtown's best, Metro City's best. Let them duke it out. I think it would come to a draw. And here's the thing, too. With Terry being in this game, the reason that he's in this game, for those of you who may not even understand why, the reason that he's in this game is pretty much to promote Fatal Fury City of the Wolves, right? Which also means we're going to get more likely a Street Fighter character, probably Ryu, maybe Luke, maybe Ken, that will appear in the Fatal Fury City of the Wolves game. Because at this point, there's nothing to say that these two universes can't be coexisting or happening simultaneously, right? We already know Southtown is... is technically fictional Florida and in Metro city is fictional in New York. So why couldn't it happen? Right. I'm all hyped for it. And Terry better have his Mark of the wolves outfit. He better have the wild wolf outfit. And, um, the thing too, this is just good. This just tells you the S and K is fucking back. A lot of people, and then just acting like it's not back. No, SNK is back, baby. We back. We back back. This is hype. Now, I'm not a My Shirinui player, but she's the most popular character from SNK that's not Terry Bogart. So that makes sense. So Terry and Mai are kind of like the mascots, even though it used to be Uki and used to be, um, I forgot the other character's name, but it was like the tuxedo mask looking character. But um, that's back. So let me pause right here. When it comes to Elena, right? Now, I saw some people that were upset with her change in design, right? The fact that she doesn't have the outfit that she had in Third Strike. More than likely, she's going to get her Third Strike outfit. But everything that she's wearing, if we go over here, she's wearing traditional capoeira because she's a capoeira uh, practitioner. So she's wearing the traditional pants and the, the sash. And she's still got the same top. They just, in many ways, you got to look at it like this, uh, desexualization in a way. I know people want to get mad about stuff like this. I, look, I ain't trying to get into that. But, I mean, even with Mai, she's not shown as sexy as possible. But Mai versus Chun-Li was one of the biggest matchups in Capcom versus SK 1-2. And, um, what was it, uh, Capcom versus, uh, SNK versus Capcom CVS Clash, or CVS Chaos. Uh, SVC chaos and with the uh, mesh of the millennium. Those were, that was a big crossover match. And now we got Terry in here, which of course people are going to be like, Oh, Terry and Ken. Okay. But when Cody comes, I need Michael T. Coleman, my, my, my man, I need him to come up and be like, and say something along the lines of, so how's South town treating you? How you like? How are you liking Metro City so far? And he comes in with the Zonk knuckle and gets countered with like uh, I don't know either a rising tackle or a burn knuckle. Like the Zonk knuckle and the burn knuckle should be like colliding. They should make that collaborate. They should make Cody coming in so hype, right? But anyways, I think compared to season one characters, personally, I find this to be a lot better the season one's characters that came out as DLC uh, outside of Akuma. Akuma was, was dope. But we got M. Bison, Terry, Elena, and Mai. This is stacked. They could have done an extra character, and I would have preferred the extra character be, I don't know, give me Sean Masuda, who's been absent since Street Fighter Three Third Third Strike. He made a cameo in Street Fighter V. Uh, Alex. I don't know. We need some some more love given. All right. So I'm going to say this, though. Season three, right? Season three. I'm going to put money on it. hundred bucks on this. Cody. Season three is going to have Cody. It's going to have Alex. It better have. Well, guarantee it's going to have Cody. But I want it to have. Alex as well, Sean Matsuda, maybe Remy, Makoto. Okay, 
We don't give Remy. Give me Makoto. Give me Cody, Alex, Sean, Makoto. And I'll be happy. I'll be happy with that being season three. Maybe, maybe we might get Hagar and Guy as well. Maybe that's going to be season four. But we we need to do something about this. And this lets me think, or has me thinking, we might be getting a Capcom versus SNK 3 and a SNK versus Capcom 2 very soon. And when I say very soon, I'm going to say 2026. We might get that. Because right now, you don't want that really competing with Street Fighter 6 or with Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. So 2026, 2027, we're probably going to get Capcom versus SNK 3 and uh, SNK versus Capcom 2. So that's my thoughts on it. This is a dope trailer. Why don't y'all let me know what you think in the comment section down below? Are you hyped for the fact that the legendary Hungry Wolf of Southtown is finally here in Street Fighter for the first time ever? And I'm not talking about the crossover games even though he's a guest character they could canonically tie this into actually being a thing if you're excited for this please let me know in the comment section down below and uh yeah all that being said i catch y'all in the next one stay safe be blessed have aloha and i'll see you on the next one peace out and a hooey hope